I guess what I'm saying in all this is like, I'm willing to hear other people's opinions and I'm willing to grow as a person. Wow, after posting several videos of what looks like sincere apologies, it, it really looks like like Anision is beginning to change. This is a story of a girl named Eugenia Cooney. This is my vegetarian I'm gonna fucking kill you! Did you see that jiggle? Wow! I have a problem with anorexia. I start myself all the time. Who are you? You're not even an American YouTuber. This is America. I like it when blood comes out of your vagina. No! No! Oh, I'm racist now. Just a PSA. Always watch your drinks. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. Just kidding. Guess who's back? Back again. I'm back. I play Pokemon Go. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the real life narcissistic emo version of Wolverine. This is my vegetarian body! Anision. For real though, look at this guy. He reminds me of that one guy from that movie Split. So guys, before I actually get into this video, it's 2019. Holy, where did the time go by? I'm turning 18 this year. I'm graduating from high school this year. I'm starting university this year, but I become an adult this year. That's just, that's wild. We have a new setup and this is the year where our channel reaches 200,000 subscribers. That's the goal that I am I am putting down. I'm laying flat. 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Mark my word, we are reaching there. So Nissan is one of the OG YouTubers. His channel was created back in 2006, the days when YouTubers like Niga Higa and Ali A came to be. But the only difference is, his channel's been dying. Nissan currently has three channels that he actively uploads on with millions of subscribers each one of them losing hundreds of subscribers per day. So today we're gonna be finding out why Nissan has been losing so many subscribers other than the fact that he just uploads terrible content. But just before we actually get into this, if you guys can leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, it would really mean a lot. So I don't wanna go too much into Nissan's past and talk about what a horrible human being he was because he still is, that's kind of old news and I want to look at some of the newer stuff which goes unknown and people don't really talk about which I really feel like should be addressed but to really understand this whole video and what the points I'm trying to get across I'm just going to summarize just kind of make a little recap of just some of the big events that Anision did which made him from one of the biggest YouTubers on the internet to one of the most hated people on the internet so Anision made a video in 2012 and for basically two minutes straight he tried to give this person advice who was suffering from depression due to their verbally and physically abusive mother so despite major depressive disorder which is an actual disorder that people are diagnosed with Anision decides to put on that cliche music and blames the girl for her problems this is one of the first moments when Anision the wannabe L from Death Note begins to show his true narcissism by saying first of all I don't think you can really blame your suicidal thoughts slash depression on anyone but yourself because that individual could say the same horrible things to another person and they wouldn't have the same response so you have to take some accountability and in that it seems like the real blame falls on you because the bottom line is, is the person with the most control over you is you and not her your mom could probably say a lot of horrible things to me and I'm not gonna be suicidal so in the further years Anissa went on to make him more narcissistic and honestly just fucking retarded comments like saying his girlfriend is a slut and incapably being raped blaming youtuber Christina Grimmie's murder on God and basically telling people to worship Satan and that people are only grieving for attention. Yeah, that is real stuff that Anision has done. That, that's only a few of the things, not even half. What made Anision from one of the biggest YouTubers in like 2012, 2013 era to one of the most hated YouTubers in 2018. So in 2018, Anision is probably even scarier than he was before. So my point summing up some of his events is to share that Anision has done a lot of terrible things in the past. He's even been accused of being a rapist, a pedophile, and more. Now with all this, he's made a lot of apology videos saying he's sorry for his mistakes, but I wouldn't even call them mistakes because it continues to do the same shit over and over again. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing is taking a look at some of the more recent fuck ups that Anision has made, which kind of go unnoticed and should be addressed. And we're gonna be taking a look at his apology videos and just proving what a compulsive liar and sociopath this guy really is. So he made a 22 minute long bullshit video addressing the rumors that he's a pedophile. And his excuse was that even though it's illegal in pretty much every other state, 
It's not illegal in his state, so it's okay. So he goes ahead and pulls the, oh, but the definition of pedo on the internet says this card. It's like a crappy situation to be called a pedo when a pedo is someone who's attracted to people who are typically 13 or younger. Like, I don't I don't understand why people don't understand that at all, it seems. But a pedo is not someone who's attracted to 17-year-olds. The thing is, the definition says sexual perversion in which the children are the preferred sexual object. And if you want to pull that card by searching up definitions on the internet, if you search up the definition of a child, it is that of age 18 or younger. So you kind of just expose yourself, buddy. Hmm, okay, but where did Anisan actually ever sexualize a child? These could just be rumors, you know? What proof do I have that he ever sexualized a child? Hmm. Oh yeah, in the video titled TikTok Girls. So what Anisan was doing in this video was reacting to a bunch of girls on TikTok and one of them being Sophia Diamond. So a couple of my friends actually know this girl in real life. They went to school with her and stuff and She's 17 years old, a child. But the videos he was reacting to her were a bit outdated, so that she was about probably 16 at the time. But her exact age doesn't really matter because in other words, a child. Now I'm gonna play the clip for you guys, but before I do, just take in the fact that Anisan is a 33 year old grown man saying what he's about to say. You just making these videos so everyone can see your boobies bounce. Yeah, there's the boobies bouncing. I don't know, I wanna see more boobies bouncing. Don't you guys wanna see more boobies bouncing? I wanna see more boobies bouncing. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Did you see that jiggle? Wow, putting jello pops. Check your drinks, ladies. Just a PSA, always watch your drinks, don't trust anyone. Yeah, that's some pretty vulgar comments for a 33 year old to make on a 16 year old. Now what's ironic about this is that in one of his apology videos, he says that he's not attracted to 17 year old girls. I'm not attracted to 17 year olds, I'm not. If you say, oh, this girl's 17, I'm gonna immediately think, ugh, no. If you notice in the videos that people make about me saying I'm a pedo and so forth, they don't actually play video examples. It's very rare to see a single video example or a screenshot. But he talks about her boobs not once. You just making these videos so everyone can see your boobies bounce. Not twice. Guessing in this video, we're about to see your boobies bounce again. But five times. Yeah, there's the boobies bouncing. I don't know. I want to see more boobies bouncing. Don't you guys want to see more boobies bouncing? I want to see more boobies bouncing. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Did you see that jiggle? Wow. Putting jello pops. Now the types of comments he makes and just the amount of times he says them. It just... It's disgusting. Now, it might not look as bad because Anisian has a baby face, but if someone else the same age, like wrestler Roman Reigns said this type of shit, I could tell you the internet would be blowing up. You guys are so annoying. Every time I see kids in general, I see these little potatoes, okay? They're not at all sexual. They're just potatoes, okay? If I like wound up being physically abusive to children, but attracted to children, I think you need like a childhood of abuse a lot of times in that area. Like my dad, he was sexually abused as a child and he wound up sexually abusing other children. So what I'm getting by this is you wouldn't rape a child, but you would instead physically abuse them and then make them in the french fries? Geez, sounds a lot like Hansel and Gretel to me. Now, if I see someone and they look like a 20 something year old, okay, if everyone mistakes them for a 20 something year old, I can't tell you whether or not I, I would, I, I have no idea what to say to you. Okay, so let's say there's a poison pizza and there's a regular pizza, right? The poison pizza looks just like the regular pizza. And so you go for the poison pizza and you eat it and they're like, wow, you must want to die because that pizza is poison. You should have known better. And you're like, it looked like the regular pizza. Yeah, because I'm sure if you use that excuse in court, you'd be set free. So in his excuse video, he said that if 50 year old looks 20, it's not his fault. But regardless, to sexualize someone and that amount of times and those explicit comments who clearly looks at least 10 years younger than you just because the law doesn't forbid it doesn't make it any perverted than it is it would be the same thing if someone like keemstar was talking about how sexy Peyton list was for a minute straight just because the law doesn't say it's illegal doesn't make it okay so a couple weeks ago Nissan dropped a video called youtube rewind must be stopped so we're gonna do my normal thing we're gonna be just playing a clip from the video and i i'm gonna be talking about it because this video is he makes some pretty bad comments and this video that he made kind of just sums up my whole topic in in 10 minutes. Hey guys, I'm an onion boy, onion boy. Hey guys, I'm like a 55 year old dude and I want to play Fortnite. I'm a 33 year old dude and I like talking about 17 year old tutors. Is this what you wanted? No, that's that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was to see PewDiePie fisting Shane Dawson. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Like, that's not even funny. That's just, that's just weird. That's just wrong. Like, 
Are we gonna focus on the YouTubers who died trying to make a YouTube video in a waterfall? Because that looks, that reminds me of that. Three travel YouTubers died on Tuesday in what appears to be a waterfall swim gone wrong. That happened in 2018. YouTube. Are we gonna focus on how much of a fucking prick you are? So if you guys don't know, there's the three Canadian YouTubers who died. It was sad. I remember hearing it on the news and it was an accident and it was really sad to hear because these people, they were just doing their job, doing what they love, what they have a passion for and a mistake happened, a simple mistake and they lost their life because of it. But you see, this is my issue with Anision. He decided to take just a simple clip from the YouTube Rewind, which had nothing, nothing at all to do with those Canadian YouTubers that died. But Anision, the anti-social person he is, the type of person that just doesn't give a shit about anyone else, decides to make a joke out of it. Yeah, a joke. He literally does not care about anyone but himself. Like who does that? People don't make fun of other people's death like that. I, I just don't understand. This guy literally doesn't have feelings for anyone else. Okay, so now to get to my main point about his rewind video. So not only is Anisian a pervert, not only is he a pedo, not only is he an asshole, not only is he a sociopath, and not only is he honestly just an idiot, but he's also racist. So Anisian reacts to the rewind and he's pretty much obsessed with the fact that YouTube Rewind should only be embracing American YouTubers. He thinks the rewind was created for Americans and all other countries should have their own separate rewind. Who are you? You're not even an American YouTuber. This is America. We're... Ugh. It is unlikely that you are American. I do not understand your language and it did not sound like Spanish. Stay on your own YouTube. To the people who put aside their differences. Yeah, and created something really special. By taking all the American jobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> okay, so what's just dumb is that he made a comment saying all those countries have their own YouTube. So why are they on USA Rewind? Now, I really just think this guy just stuck up because in YouTube Spotlight's bio, it says, your daily go-to for discovering what's new and trending around the world. The world, not America, the world. Oh, I'm racist now. Yeah. You're kind of racist. You know, I, I just don't understand this guy. He's so obsessed with the fact that only America should be recognized. And what he's basically saying is that screw all these other countries, they should go back to their other planet. He's actually sounding a lot like the current president, to be honest. So you see, this is on Nissan. He makes these racist comments, these just perverted comments, all generally just plain, just simply dumb comments. And for what reason, I, I, I don't know, I can't tell you. I don't know if he thinks he's funny or he's just trying to get into shit because we all know his channel was dying and he has to get up somehow. So you have comedians like Russell Peters who makes a lot of racist jokes and I'm not saying that it's okay, but his jokes are kind of funny. So it can kind of be justified because it's for entertainment, not to spark up any controversy or to, or to just simply hate for a race, but it's for comedic purposes. And it can kind of be justified for solely being for comedic purposes. But then you have Anision who mocks people's languages, doga, doga, doga. tells foreigners to stay in their own country. Stay on your own. YouTube and basically says his country should be the only one represented on YouTube. Who are you? You're not even an American YouTuber. This is America. We're Ugh. so you see the difference. One is a comedian just doing his job, and the other just a racist bully. So what you learn from this video is that Anishan has done a lot of terrible things in the past and continues to do even more terrible things, which go unrecognized. However, this brings me to my next point on proving to you that Anishan is a sociopath. Literally, like I'm not even joking. You search up sociopath on Google. And one of the first pictures that pop up is a picture of Anision. So if you guys don't know the legal definition of a sociopath is that you feel no remorse for others and you really don't understand the difference between right and wrong. There are, are actually people like this, not just that you do something bad and you're like, oh, I, I didn't know. Like it's literally like, it's, it's a mental condition. So this guy has made countless apology videos. He literally makes one almost every week. And in each one of these videos, he tries to take the blame off of him and throw it right back at the people saying that it's their fault. He goes off and says things like people believe anything they hear, people jump right to conclusions, but no, it's backed with evidence and Anision fails to realize this, that people aren't just hating on him for no reason. I am not making this video just to simply hate on this guy. I'm trying to address a serious issue, even the actions that this guy has done. He has the potential to kind of not maybe become a great person, but just become a better person and not make as many of these stupid comments that he does. But you guys saw the facts. All these accusations of him being a racist, a pedophile, a pervert, everything are backed up with real facts, real proof, evidence. So in one of his apology videos, he addressed the fact that how people are saying that he's harassing this one girl named Eugenia Cooney. And basically, if you don't know who this girl is, she suffers from anorexia. And in his defense, he just says, 
because they keep saying like, you know, you harass Eugenia Cunningham. I really don't. Now that statement is a little bit of bullshit because he has made countless videos making fun of her condition and mocking her. And on December 21st, he made a video titled Eugenia Cooney died and it, it, it was bad. It, it, it was really bad. You know, let me just play a clip for you just to show you guys what I mean, but I, I'm warning you right now, it's it's pretty intense. I'm Eugenia Cooney. I'm a huge celebrity. I don't have an eating disorder. I just uh, never eat. That's not the same thing. <laughs> I starve myself all the time, but that's another thing. Oh God, save me. I smell all that. Oh no, I can't. Oh. Stupid white lady. Hmm. This one's from Anorexia. Yep. And she just gained a hundred million more subscribers. Yeah. I think that might be harassment. So for Anisio and mocking people's death is funny to him and honestly this guy just freaks the shit out of me. Alright so now I want to play for you guys a part of his apology video which was posted before he made this Sims video that I just showed you. We're talking about videos where I'm just like making fun of someone random and then I move on. You know, that's kind of like the difference between someone who's harassing someone and someone who's just telling jokes. What I've done with Eugenia Cooney um, some time ago was harassment. More recently I've been making actually videos being supportive of Eugenia and I don't think people pay attention. So as you just heard, he says he doesn't harass Eugenia Cooney anymore and makes positive videos about her. But you guys just saw the video. He was mocking her, making fun of her, and then killed her. Do you have a problem with anorexia? Because I have a problem with anorexia. I starve myself all the time, but that's another thing. And this really just wraps up my whole point on how Anisan is a sociopath and doesn't understand what he's actually doing. This is really why I wanted to make this video. To show you guys that his apologies are a load of bullshit, and even after all these years, he really hasn't changed even a single bit. So I decided to take a look at this guy's Instagram the other day just to see what type of content he posts on there, if there's anything worse on there. And I, I could tell you, it, it, it definitely is worse. It is a lot worse. And it makes me worried for just the people living near this guy. And I'll, I'll show you why in a second. This guy has an obsession with blood. He has posts going back years ago. And it's not just that he's into makeup. In each of this guy's pictures, he looks like he just came home from a murder scene. He literally looks like one of those people from the Green Inferno. A movie about a tribe of cannibals. And the scariest one yet was him in the bathroom covered in blood, standing beside three innocent girls with the caption, such a happy looking bunch. He's made videos where he makes jokes about beating women, mocks people's death, telling suicidal people that it's their fault, feels no remorse for others, and to be honest, it all adds up. So by making this video, I'm not just trying to be funny, like I did make some jokes, but I am genuinely concerned for this guy's well-being and the people around him. But yeah, one day, this guy just might tick, and I am honestly worried for this guy. So by making this video, I'm just trying to address some of the stuff, and I really hope that Anision did watch this video, and really looks at the proof, because I don't think he's ever really just sat down and just watched a video like this, and just really focused and listened to what other people are saying, and just watch, just, just watch what he's done. I think he's made a lot of videos, and he doesn't really look at them. He'll he'll film them, edit them, post them. And I don't think he ever really just considers the real dangers behind the video. So by making this video, guys, please do not go over to Anisan's channel and just hate on him. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just address some stuff. And really just, I'm, I'm trying to just say, stay away from this guy's channel. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And I really hope that you guys did enjoy this. 2019 is going to be a big year. And guys, in the beginning of the video, I laid down the fact that we're going to be hitting 200,000 subscribers this year. We are going to be doing it. My goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is June 5th. So first we're going to do that, and then we're going to go over to 200,000. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do it. But anyway, guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Why you got a war like that? I'm telling y'all. Bitch cool, out of paper tag. I'm telling y'all. Shorty say she like my swag. I'm smelling it. I like it when blood comes out of your vagina. Mm. Do you like it when blood comes out of your vagina? Mm.